what's really exciting about this year is in the past we we've done the global pittsburgh project at the end more as a as a capstone and this year we're doing more throughout the year with the project so that the girls will have a, a strong foundation and then we'll still have culminating events at the end of the year the main goal is to find as many connections as we can with all of the 90 neighborhoods of Pittsburgh, which is fascinating to learn about, that we have 90 neighborhoods. And then just who we are as individuals and how we're interconnected with people throughout the city and then how that leads to global connections. And it's really them learning about their city, about the people that live in our city, how our city has changed, um, people that immigrate to our city and how it makes our city unique. We started the project off with them doing an identity circle. So them talking about all the different parts that make up their identity. Uh, and I think it was an interesting lesson, an important lesson for them because, you know, we think of them so much as, oh, they're all Ellis girls or, oh, they're all seventh graders. But this really showed them the differences between them as well as the overlapping. And then from there, we took that into their neighborhoods because that was one of the pieces of their identity, that part of their community. And we're collaborating with Miss Lombardi and her computer science, and we're doing a scratch project for them to introduce those neighborhoods because Ellis is really in the middle of the city. Um, so for them to understand not only all of the different components that make up our city, but then also for them to understand the importance of community and how a community can have a whole bunch of different pieces, but it makes into a cohesive grouping in the end. We're partnering with Hello Neighbor, and it's a uh, focus on refugee resettlement. Most recently, we heard from a refugee caseworker who shared with us her experiences with resettling people to our city and, and helping them find housing and jobs and what they need. And so that's gonna lead to, uh, we're gonna have a drive as a seventh grade class of needed items for refugees. It's important for us to be partnering with outside sources from Ellis because um, it really falls in place with one of our pillars. So about us wanting to be change makers. How do these girls become change makers? They need to partner with other people. Um, and so I think part of the joy of Ellis in this project is that we're giving them that bridge to those um, opportunities. Um, because even after this project is over, you know, these girls can go and, you know, volunteer with Hello Neighbor or volunteer to create another drive. So we're starting to give them um, the pieces that are necessary for them to create these long lasting relationships.